Okay, this is day 10, status update of the 36 gallon bow front saltwater aquarium conversion from fresh water. I have a lot of mistakes to report today uh, that I've made in the last week and so those that are, are in my boat starting out uh, and if you're watching this video maybe you could avoid some of the pitfalls that I'm coming across. Um, the first mistake that I'm going to report is concerning the rocks. Now what you see there as far as the rock setup, um, that's not going to be the end result. I still have to work the rocks. Um, but the problem that I had was um, I started messing around with re rearranging the rocks. I, I went out and I bought another piece of dry base rock just so that I could uh, have the full 35 pounds of rock in there. I started arranging the rocks in the water and the problem with doing it that way is that uh, when you're arranging the rocks in the water like this with sand, um, as you're arranging it, it kiss, kicks up all the sand and it makes the water cloudy. So what was happening to me is that uh, I would start to arrange the rocks, um, the water would get really, really cloudy and I couldn't see. So then I'd have to wait for the water to, to, to settle down. and so I could see again and then um, start playing around with the uh, rearrangement again and again going through that circle of arranging rocks, kicking up the sand, getting it cloudy, I can't see, then having to wait for the tank to settle. So um, if you're smart, if I was smart, I would have taken the rocks out of the tank, uh, arranged them you know, in, a, in the manner that I want, you know, come up with the final um, arrangement and then put them back in the tank in that arrangement I didn't do that so um, that's mistake number one mistake number two um, after the last update I went to the store and I, I bought jumbo shrimp I was gonna make a shrimp cocktail I took one of the jumbo uncooked shrimp and I threw it in the tank hole uh, I'm not sure that I was supposed to do that I mean I have seen and read online where you could take a piece of shrimp and and throw it in the tank and start the cycle that way I, I think by throwing the whole jumbo shrimp in there um, that was probably not the right thing to do because what happened was is that a few days later when I went to test the ammonia well there was a couple of things happening a few days later I looked at the tank and the shrimp was sitting there and it seemed like to have formed uh, a jelly like cocoon it was encrusted in this gel gelatin it looked like a um, the shrimp had been eaten by a jellyfish that's what it looked like to me uh, I took the shrimp out of the water and it just smelled really 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 bad I, I tested the water for the ammonia levels and the ammonia levels were just off the chart um, you know I think the 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 chart for the ammonia tester ends at a 8.0 and it was darker than that so um, I did a 20% water change um, this morning I tested the ammonia levels and they're down to like a 2 so I'm hoping that um, by doing that partial water change a 20% water change that it helped with the ammonia levels um, I do have nitrates in there the, the nitrates are creeping up kinda high um, that's kind of expected. I don't have a nitrite tester, so I don't know what my nitrites are. Um, I'm thinking that because I have ammonia and I have nitrates, that the tank is cycling, although it's probably cycling a lot slower than it should because A, I don't have live rock in there, and B, I didn't do any bacteria, so I'm just depending on the live sand to provide the bacteria for the cycling. Um, I don't know that the live sand has enough bacteria um, so that's probably why you know the ammonia levels just went off the charts or be, maybe it was because the, the shrimp that I put in there was too large um, so what I've done is I took the shrimp out I did the water change and instead what I'm doing is I'm adding a little bit of brine shrimp every day just a little pinch um, to feed the bacteria that's growing in the tank. I'm going to continue to monitor the uh, levels for ammonia and nitrate and I'll probably go out and get a nitrite test, 
test kit as well. Um, so those are the two mistakes that I've made in the last week. Um, as far as everything else, the water looks good. I do have to rearrange the rocks. Um, the changes that I've made is I took out, I had a, a little Acreon hang on the back filter there. I took that out um, because the nitrate levels were really high and I didn't want the the not the um the, the filter on the back there just harboring bacteria for the nitrates so I started the protein skimmer um, after about a week of going uh, suffering from severe micro bubbles in the tank there was just micro bubbles everywhere it looks like the skimmer has settled down a bit and there's uh, not a lot of micro bubbles in the tank there is a little bit of foaming on the top where, I don't know if you can see it. You see there. But um, it's not as bad as it was a couple of days ago where there was just micro bubbles everywhere in the tank. Um, my next plan is to purchase an RODI unit so that I could uh, uh, start making my own water, clean water. Um, and then after that, uh, get a, uh, some sort of carbon media in the tank, whether it be, a you know, a reactor or some sort of, you know, filter sock or something to get some carbon filtration. Um, because what's happening is, is that, um, disturbing the sand and playing around with the rocks and, and causing the water to be cloudy there's a lot of fine particles that have been settling everywhere so I don't know if you could see that it looks like and I had to clean the glass because it looked like um, I don't know if you've ever played with sheetrock and start cutting sheetrock you get that powder everywhere and that's what happened in the tank um, you get like this fine powder everywhere so I had to clean all that off and I'm thinking that uh, by getting a carbon uh, filtration in there it will clean some of that stuff out of the water. Anyway, that is update, a uh, 10 day update for the salt water conversion from fresh water to salt water, 36 bow front. Thank you.